So, apparently, this movie is getting a sequel. Despite this movie losing a ridiculous ton of money at Disney, it seems that, according to Disney, this is a very, very, very important movie to get a sequel. Of course, they'll never give Alita a sequel. That's the ironic part. Even though Alita made money for Fox, they're never going to give Alita a sequel, but they'll give Jungle Cruise a sequel and Cruella a sequel. And... It's not just Disney, it's also Warner Bros. as well. Just go, they, say, they say they're going to make another Suicide Squad movie. Even though the Suicide Squad was a flop in the theaters. I know it likely made money through HBO Max. Same thing with Space Jam and New Legacy. Again, with these series of this, you never know how much money they make. But Jungle Cruise, I believe, is currently at like $140 to $120 million loss. Currently at this current moment. But apparently, they're making a sequel. After his box office before surpassed a hundred million, and which isn't too impressive. It isn't too impressive, you know, considering the movie has a two hundred million dollar budget. You know, considering this movie has a two hundred million dollar budget, apparently, this is a very important movie to get a sequel. Okay, this movie is getting a sequel, of course, because of course Disney just wants your money, obviously. But if you look at the budget, you know. Disney Plus grows according to this. Disney Plus Premier Access is on 45 million according to Samba TV. Not as hard as Disney as Black Widow, so it is currently. I bet I, I can use my estimates. It's about 120 to 140 million dollar watts currently. But according to this, it's gonna make more. According to this, by Disney the perception of box office what's the success. <laughs> Why is this game a sequel? This movie is losing money, and it's terrible. For a two hundred million dollar would be fine. It's not even one of these in reviews, but it is having. It is becoming like a sweeper hit, basically, and it has two hundred forty-five million dollars. Cruella is also getting a sequel, as well, which is why here. Yeah, but again, this Jungle Cruise is becoming like a sweeper hit, and it just seems that. Box office does not really matter to big companies because they can say, oh, we did well on streaming and they'll get make a sequel to it. Same thing with Wonder Woman 1984. That movie is considered one of the, is lost a ton of money, but it doesn't really matter. That movie's getting a sequel. Do not worry. Okay, Mortal Kombat is also getting a sequel as well. It was quite popular at HBO Max, which is not too surprising. It's quite popular. It's going to do pretty well on Blu-ray. I think Mortal Kombat probably made back its but it's not on my list of box office flop twist. But, you know, and again, Disney gets all the money back from Disney Plus, so, you know, as well. So, if you include Disney Plus, this movie, this movie probably costs like $100 million to market like Black Widow. So, actually, technically, if you include Disney Plus, this movie will make money like Black Widow, because... Like someone said that Black Widow for four hundred million dollars to market, did not Disney did not spend four hundred million dollars to market Black Widow. They spent like a hundred at most on Black Widow, okay. And they made like eighty forty five million part. It made like eight sixty to eighty million dollars on Disney Plus, which means this movie might actually make back its money, considering the fact that this movie is being super waggy at the box office, you know. And Suicide Squad two is not doing too well. No wonder why, because, you know, and then Black Widow tops Ant-Man 4 and Ant-Man, you know, tops those movies at the box office, and well, I won't be surprised to get a sequel to Free Guy, or, you know, Free Guy is going to become a successful movie, you know, despite a certain YouTube channel. I think that, that thing doesn't really matter anymore, considering how well that movie has done, but it seems that, apparently, that's like Wonder Woman 1984, it the it, 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 it can lose money, but can still get a sequel. But they'll never make an Alita sequel, because according to Disney, Alita is not profitable. But this is same thing on Cruella, because again they're gonna use oh it's pandemic, so it's gonna make less money, and they'll likely make money over time. That's what Disney's probably thinking here. Why to make a sequel to Cruella and Jungle Cruise, but not Alita? And why they're even saying there could be a sequel to Black Widow, even though Scarlett Johansson's not gonna be in it. And so how are we going to make a sequel? No one knows why. But. Yep. 
Yep. And the guy and the people from the first movie, our Tony and <coughs> Tony in this movie. And yeah. And yeah, that's basically about this video. Goodbye.